Let's do a quick overview of the two ways a user can connect to a unit within VidCenter. In DVR Manager, we set up two sites for connectivity, Site 1 and Site 2. We see them here under Task Actions. To connect to a unit, simply highlight the unit name in the list and click on the Connect button in the Task Actions toolbar. Alternatively, the user can use the Connect button in the main toolbar or simply right-click on the highlighted NVR and select Connect. VidCenter will present a login dialog box in which the user will enter the admin or user password and click OK. VidCenter will then go through a process of showing authenticating, then authenticated, then ready. This means the user is fully connected to the unit and can proceed using the NVR. Notice all the icons in the Task Center section of the software are selectable. This is another indication the user is fully connected. As mentioned earlier, there are two ways to connect to a unit within VidCenter. We just looked at using the Task Action section, but a user may also simply use the Recent Connections option on the dashboard. As VidCenter starts up, it presents a list of NVRs most recently connected to and makes them available for quick reconnect. By clicking once on the name of the site, the user is presented with the same login dialog box as before. Lastly, we will show a newer feature of VidCenter that allows a user to search quickly through a list of DVRs without having to drill through the hierarchy. In the Task Actions section of the VidCenter, there is a dialog box. If we know the name of a site, we can simply begin typing it in the box, and as seen here, a reduced list of names is presented in the drop-down. The user can simply select the site from the list and click on to take them directly to the highlighted NVR. Then click on Connect and we are on our way to connecting to the unit.